Back in the marina, in the marina. We've been gone for about three weeks now, haven't we? Something yeah. like that. Um, the boat was lifted out while we were away, um, in lockdown. The boat's still on the hard, going back in the water this morning. So this is the yard. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're just heading over to Kestrel now. And hopefully, the second coat of antifoul was put on yesterday. Would we tell? I don't know. <laughs> What flavour was the candle? No, but it smells a bit strong. <laughs> it probably won't work, yeah. Well, can it do any harm is the question. We've just come from the office and we were pleasantly surprised actually. We, um, we had a prize for doing the anti-fouling and Polishing the actual hull. And I think the price we got was about 470, 80 euros. euros. Mm. We've had some extra work done. We've had the heat exchanger taken out, all cleaned and put back again. And we've had a new seacock and through hull put in. And in total, for all the work to be done now, it actually came out at 630 euros. Yep. Um, so we're actually quite pleased with that. Yeah, we thought it was going to be a damn sight more than that. So that's really yeah. good. The work's been done by Selmar Yachting uh, in D-Marine and I have to say they've done a pretty good job and at a good price so we're pretty happy with that. Yeah. So we're now still waiting for them to put it back in the water. Maybe um, another half an hour perhaps because they're just jet washing off one of the boats and just lifted so we're hoping we're next to be lifted back in. So. Yeah. Too bad on those pads, does it? No, it doesn't. Still thinking, oh, God, it's going to after a good day and um, all went well apart from um, when we got back in the water there was no water coming out of the exhaust which is only minor problem so we got back into the berth contacted Selmar who were the ones who were fiddling with the engine and asked them if they'd come and have a look and they did and within minutes of us arriving back onto the boat after contacting them and um, they actually were here to help us so he's had a little look what was the actual problem 
It was an airlock in the um, system. Yeah, that's it. Um, so he had a fiddle and now we've got water coming out and we're really happy. So the boat's all been done, really, really pleased. So we're here overnight tonight in Dida Marina and then tomorrow we're hoping to sail over to Kazikli, which will probably be around lunchtime. There is no wind, so it's probably a motor. Good night in the marina last night. Morning. <laughs> Hang on, take this off, you can see nobody around. Um, yeah, really good night, very calm, beautiful evening. Um, we stayed up till about, I don't know, 10, half 10. Started getting a little bit damp on the back of the boat, so yeah, then we went to bed. Great night, sleep on the mattress. <laughs> it was great, wasn't it? <laughs> no, almost slept too well. But yeah, it's lovely, really calm and quiet, really nice. This morning we're going over to the fuel dock. A uh, couple of things we need to do, we, we need to get some um, additive for the fuel, just to make sure we don't get any bugs in there. And we also need to ask them if we were okay to go on the fuel dock um, to accept a few parts that are due to arrive in the next few days. So we're going to walk around there, it's quite a walk, it took us about half an hour, as you have to go right around the marina. So we're just coming around to part of the marina where the customs is and we've got the, the port police, the customs and the harbour master but they're all in one place which makes it really easy when you actually come in and now we're about halfway around the marina worn out already? <laughs> yeah, not too far to go <laughs> so look shocked we have just had <laughs> the biggest shock of our lives <laughs> we went into the fuel station to get this um, fuel additive to stop the diesel bug building up inside the tanks and inside the filters and things. And we bought it before at something like £30 for a bottle which, you know, you can add a few different measures to diesel. And we've just gone in there and we asked how much it was for this same bottle. 750 lira, so £75. So I think we'll turn that down. Well, we didn't buy it, as you can imagine. I think we'll go to a different Chandler's. Oh, wow. That's that is a really lot of money. Yeah. We've so. paid, you know, a nobody third of that. For nobody wants a diesel bug, do they? No, but not that much. <laughs> I love making these videos and we hope you enjoy them. And if you've enjoyed this one, why not give us a thumbs up? And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the button now. And thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.